Hey there, everybody. James Hilliard with you. Recently, we had an Ask the Experts conversation, and we were talking about the data center, and we talked a lot about security. Take a look. Security is a huge deal, but it starts at the beginning. Um, yeah, you it's know, not the add-on at the end, which it the, used to be yeah, way as, back as, when we all as started. I say to yeah. people, you need to build it in and not bolt it on. Right. Um, and building it in, truthfully, it goes to that, let's figure out your baseline, but then from a security profile, there's a lot of things that customers already have that they probably don't know they have. So like Lenovo uses all the firmware information, any telemetry that's from mm -hmm. Intel, it all goes into the systems that they have. Yep. And lots of times they're leveraging our trusted boot technology and other things, and the customers don't even know that that's happening. And which I think is good, mm -hmm. but then when they start to do and leverage AI ops, they sometimes buy things or add things on that are already there. That, that's already been built in, that's already stuff that the hardware vendors are providing for them, but they don't, but know, they don't know it. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. You know, one thing I'd like to kind of um, continue on the idea there is, you know, w one of the aha moments early in AI that, that Lenovo had and that really spoke to me on the security side is the fact that you have different kinds of AI data that you want to keep segregated, and that's important. Um, you know, the information that employees need in their AI is going to be very different than what we need from an AI ops perspective. And so this idea of hybrid AI and the right information going to the right large language model, models, the right databases and what have you, to keep people comfortable that their data is not going where, where it shouldn't be going. No, I think that's true. And there are companies like Intel who've built in secure enclave. So as an example, if you've got some anomaly detection product that you have and you're and you're like, well, that's not an, that's not something we've seen before. So you don't want that to be perturbating your entire environment. So you want to take whatever that bad actor is and put them in an enclave by themselves, kind of mm -hmm. in their own little jail. Yeah. And Intel builds those capabilities again in the intrinsics of the hardware that we build those that folks like Lenovo and others take advantage of, but not everybody does. Right. Um, and also other chip vendors that you work with, not Intel, don't have those same kind of capabilities. So folks need to really understand, and you can have, which most people do, a mixed environment, some Intel, some AMD, you've got NVIDIA, you've got a, a number of other things, but you also need to really understand what you're gonna be able to get from some, and to your point about that secure data, maybe that shouldn't be on this set of equipment, exactly. or the secure, this particular HIPAA data, because, or financial data, has gotta be over here on these systems that have the capabilities that you need from a security perspective. Yeah. Every organization does have, we're no longer just a one type of technology shop anymore. That was the security strategy many decades ago. You know what, we'll, we'll simplify by just all going in one area. Well, then all of a sudden one area got compromised. So then we started expanding, getting complex again. Okay, but now we have all these different systems out there, that does create a much wider security threat vector, and that's something that's gotta be the leading conversation that you have in the data center these days of how do you protect all of it? Yeah, I mean, we're used to kind of a heterogeneous data center, right? Um, with everything that's going on, you know, in the hypervisor world right now, we're now seeing data centers with multiple hyper hypervisors, right? Um, it's just something we're going to have to live with, but the reality is, is our, our, our clients, we have to make them aware that there's ways to simplify the management and that they need to embrace, you know, AI using, you know, I implementing AI ops to take a lot of the guesswork, a lot of the, you know, uh, remedial stuff off their plates so that ultimately you can have an IT organization that focuses on proact proactivity, right, driving, you know, innovating, bring innovation to the business, being able to work, take your re limited resources and apply them towards higher value projects. That's the goal, right? And that's what we strive to work with customers on every day, really. If you would like to learn more and see the entire Ask the Experts conversation, please visit connection.com forward slash data center experts.